state. I say 30 years is enough. Yeah. Who here wants more of the same? No. I have a question for you, though, seriously. Why do you live in Utah? It's a pretty great state. <laughs> You live in Utah for the same reason that I live in Utah, and that many people live in Utah. We live in Utah because we have a great pioneering spirit. We live in Utah because we have people with great values. We have a great quality of life, and we have a great place to raise a family. And that's why my wife, Amy, and I choose to raise our family here in Utah. But well, we've traveled the state, and we've talked to Republicans and Democrats, and they're both concerned about the direction of this state. Do you feel that you've been better, better served over the last year, the last two years? No. No. The truth is, our unemployment rate is the highest it's been in 26 years. The truth is, Utah has the fifth highest bankruptcy rate in the nation. The truth is that there are 27% more seniors seeking food stamps this year than last year. The truth is our graduation rates are falling, and the truth is people are tired of the bickering that goes forth in our polit political system. And people are concerned about the influence in mo of money in politics. Our current governor's fundraising report looks like the who's who of state contractors and those regulated by this state. The truth is, people feel uneasy about their jobs, about our education system, and our quality of life that is so important to all of us here. People also see a lack of leadership. They see a governor who's negotiating to give away our water in the Snake Valley to Nevada. They see a governor who did not take a leadership role before depleted uranium came to Utah. We see a governor who says he's opposed to the cigarette tax, but didn't sign the bill, didn't veto the bill. We need a governor who will take a strong leadership role and make tough choices. We don't need a governor and a legislature that are tied to the hip. I'm a twin. We don't need a twins up in our state government. <laughs> we don't need more message bills that cause, cause taxpayers millions of dollars. Of the second largest government, I can tell you 
that me, along with these great people here and others in Salt Lake County government, we've created open and transparent government. government. We've passed independent redistricting laws. We've created campaign finance limits, including limits on county contractors giving to, the, giving to candidates. by almost 20% last year, but we maintain critical services. In fact, our budget is now smaller than it was in 2005 when I became mayor. And we, and we cut our workforce, but we didn't do it through layoffs. We did it through attrition and early retirement programs. And we also created performance measures in our county so every division now has goals to work towards and will be accountable for the, for the things they do. We've created, we've created proven, efficient, and effective government, and my administration has shown proven leadership. But for me to be the next governor, we must start right here, right now. I'm not a great speaker, and my wife tells me I'm not very funny. <laughs> But what I do know how to do is hire good people. I know how to listen. I know how to work hard on behalf of the citizens. I work 70 to 80 hours a week. My wife says I whistle to work, and I do whistle to work every single morning. I also listen to country music. <laughs> Sometimes I pee over too. <laughs> here today because I have to win this race. I have to win. We, cannot, we cannot afford more of the same. We need a competitive, dynamic state, and as governor I will focus on the economy as jobs, and jobs I will focus on education, I will focus on our quality of life, and I am, I am willing to work hard to win, but I can't do it alone. Please join me, and together, we can win. Thank you very much.